This video is presented by EA Game Changers, presented by, not sponsored by, they haven't bought my opinion, a day hens. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another video. I do just want to say, I have a dog now. She's got that separation anxiety, so she's a little bit, she's a little bit timid, let's just say that. So if you hear any noises in the background, it's her. She's learning how to use a bed though, which is good. But today, my friends, I'm going to be doing an entire history of university. So going through The Sims 2, The Sims 3, and The Sims 4. Didn't have one in The Sims 1. The Sims 2 University, let's start with that. This was actually the first expansion for The Sims 2, which is a big change from The Sims 4, where we were, it's five, is it five years? I'm gonna talk about the finished product of university first, which is the whole reason you go to university, and that's jobs. So university introduced four new careers, the job, not the country, that like you can only go down if you've got a specialized degree in that kind of subject. For example, paranormal, show business, natural science, and artist. And the higher the degree, the higher your benefits are after you've finished university. So for example, if you're just going into a normal job, then you might get a pay rise, and you might start at a higher level so that's great some good incentive these new jobs also come with career reward i can't say that these new jobs also come with career reward there we go these are basically a part of the sims 2 where if you reach the highest level of your career then you've got these objects and these are an antique camera for the artist career where you can take photos and then these photos can go up on your walls the infamous well loved well renowned well killed cow plant that one came with the natural science career i absolutely i've never been able to keep a cow plant alive but i love it and also some of the mascots in the sims 2 were a cow which is kind of based off the cow plant. A plastic surgery station for the show business career. Could that even be passed in The Sims 4? I don't think that would be approved. <laughs> you also get the resurrected Omatron with the paranormal career, which they really fleshed out the paranormal career compared to the others, to be honest. This gives you the ability to revive dead Sims and also plays in the new life state that we get. But doing this is a little risky because you've got to pay money for it. So you can't just revive Skip Broke and give death like a father. He won't have it. <laughs> If you do give them minimal money, your sim will come back as a zombie, which is a new life state that we have in this pack. Kind of random, but I enjoy it <laughs> nonetheless, because zombies are kind of cool. Basically, they are just zombies. They walk about with the head lolling like that. The hygiene goes down faster. They think about brain sometimes. Other sims might react negatively around them. They can't age up though. The only time that they can age up is if they're a teen zombie going into a university and then they'll come back as an adult. But I do like this because even though they included zombies, zombies directly impact the Sims 2 university as well because if you apply for a scholarship and you're a zombie you get that check you get that scholarship a dollar make me holler so to get these jobs and all the career awards and everything you do actually have to apply at university go to college in any degree and there's three new universities to choose from which is absolutely insane university doesn't automatically come within the game in the sims 2 you actually have to come up here and click to add a university and you get three universities which is absolutely insane the sims 3 could never not in rush it so there's three universities sim state university which is kind of reflective of pleasant view lafayette tech which reflects Strange Town and Academy Latua, which kind of reflects Veronaville, the three base game worlds that came with The Sims. So that's actually really good. Or you can just add them all. And then within these worlds, there's all different types of new lots too. There's a dorm, university housing, fraternities, sororities, cafes, shopping centers, everything like that. And it really does feel like a university town. There's a lot to do. Unlike with The Sims 4 as well, this world is separate from all the other worlds. Time's basically paused while you attend university. I never enjoyed this about The Sims 2. It's one of the things that makes it unplayable for me, as great as a game as it is. I just wish it could be remastered and your sims could age up, but we can't get what we always want. So there's also two ways to attend university. You can just play with the university world and then you can go into that world and create a sim through there with the new life state, which is young adult. Or you can use an already pre-existing teenager in a world like Pleasant View, like Lilith Goth, for example. Lilith Goth? I mean, she should be a goth at the end of the day. Lilith Pleasant, there we go. But if you use an already existing teenager, you can apply through the phone. And you can also apply for scholarships beforehand and the scholarships generally they're focused around like skills, teenage jobs, academic success as well as whether or not you're a zombie or a vampire or even if you've been previously abducted <laughs> you get money off university and then you can just move straight into university housing which is just basically like a regular house or a dorm straight away but you do have to be accepted into a fraternity or sorority so you can't just automatically go there <laughs> What the frick? So once you're in the dorms before you even start classes or anything like that, there's a lot to do before you're inside university, which is great. You can claim a room, but I swear to God, if you claim a room, you better lock it because the amount of times I've played in this game, I forgot to lock a room and then Sims come into my room and they think it's a party and my Sims just trying to sleep. And I swear, do not, under any circumstances, have a computer in your room if your door's not locked because they will come in. You need to start charging them rent. Honestly, it's despicable. Moving on. <laughs> you can also eat at your dorm rooms as well. There is someone who works there and they make breakfast, dinner, tea. Yes, I say 
Sunday breakfast dinner tea, not breakfast lunch dinner because I'm a northern channel. Winter is coming. And I'm not about to start class war. It's breakfast dinner tea. Plum Bella approved. But obviously, like once you're at university, you want to go ahead with the most boring part of it, which is actually learning, engaging with classes. Oh. <sighs> It's the worst. Once you start there, you're just an undeclared major, but once you're there, you can't apply for a major. And this undeclared, obviously, and you can go through your entire degree with undeclared, I think. Art, biology, drama, economics, history, literature, mathematics, philosophy, physics, political science, and psychology. So there's a lot there to choose from. And then in the UI section, the semester bar replaces the age in bar, so it just goes up in increments once you finish the semester. And it's sort of by freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior. So it's quite an American experience. I need some British representation. And how well you do at university is also limited by how skilled you are. With the progress bar in the work section of the UI, you can't access a higher level unless you've got the skills necessary, which is a good addition, I think. I really like how they've done that. It's kind of reflective of real life. Like, if you're not working on the right things, you're probably not going to improve you know now i'm going to talk about some fun things that were added into the game there's new social actions like streaking if you don't know what streaking is your sims take off your clothes and they run around naked as the day they were born and i did not know that that was a thing please just take five seconds to imagine eight-year-old me not knowing what that interaction was and then seeing naked sims on my screen like the power of christ compels thee you can also buy little things like a mobile phone and mp3 player even just saying that makes me realize how old this pack is and you can also buy a handheld game class 10 out of 10 and there's also secret societies which i I only ever managed to get into once when I was playing this as a kid and I swear the way I got into the secret society is by finding an old assignment on a table that no one had completed and I sent my sim to go and complete it and then someone from the secret society came up to me and was like hey you can be part of our society but every single time I tell that story people tell me I'm wrong and people tell me that you need to befriend three people in the secret society to get accepted so I don't know which game we were playing whether it was different games whether EA is just catfishing us wouldn't be the first time but basically once you get accepted in the secret society they've got the old lot you can hack grades with the computer and you can also play with some of the career award objects that you get if you excel in the university careers and you can also do a secret handshake and what's the point of being in a secret society if you can't do a secret handshake so thanks to sims for including that then once you finish university you basically just get kicked out so you get assigned saying whether you've passed or failed and you'll get your diploma it says you have 72 hours to leave campus which is pretty morbid to be honest like i would expect balloons but nah you can have a graduation party though within that time where everyone will be in the cap and gown which is nice kind of sweet so that's the sims 2 i haven't gone into the nitty gritty of everything because this video when i'm recording at this point is already 12 minutes long so i'm not going to go into every single thing just the main things with each of the packs but what a great pack honestly i kind of want to play it again now i might do a video on it tomorrow watch out then from this we move on to the sims 3 university and i'm just going to let you know that i had to pay 30 pounds <laughs> to play with this pack to include some of the footage that goes over the screen i already have it on disc right but this pc doesn't have a disc drive and me being the cheapest that I am. I bought it second hand off CEX and someone had already reclaimed the code in the pack so I had to buy this again. But I'm kind of happy about it. I, I might play it on stream. You never quite know. That's dedication though my friends. I love you. I hope you realise how much I do. So The Sims 3 University is very similar to The Sims 2 in some ways but it's also a stark difference in others. In the same style that I spoke about in The Sims 2 I'm going to talk about the jobs first because that's why everybody goes to university. So as far as I can tell there's only three new careers which is sports agent, video game developer and art appraiser and these are directly linked to the new social groups which I'm not going to go into too much. It's basically jock, geek, and rebel, and you can do all things relating to that thing, like playing video games if you're a nerd. <laughs> I just called them nerds, whatever. Or you can play sports if you want to be a jock. So that's a big part that came with the Sims 2 University. So if you get, I think it's to the top of these and these job opportunities open up for you. The degrees also impact on other jobs in the game as well. It's not just necessarily these three. It's similar to the Sims 2 where the higher your degree, the better of a start and you'll get once you finish it. So you'll get like a career jump, job not the country, and you'll also get more money. And this pack does also include new skills, which are science, social networking, street art, and photography. And these are also relevant to the majors that you're going to choose. And there's new traits too. Too. The Sims 4 could never. <laughs> These traits are avant-garde, irresistible, and socially awkward. I think they could have been more tailored towards university, but I can understand why that them ones are included. And there's also new lifetime wishes, and these are basically aspirations in, in The Sims 4 if you've never played The Sims 3. But these are perfect student, scientific specialist, street credible, major master, reach max influence with all social groups, and blog artist. Again, Sims 4 could never. Why is there not more in The Sims 4? So then to actually go to university, when you live at home, you'll get a really annoying visit from the university mascot he's basically dressed as a llama and he bops about like this drops them on the floor and it's basically just a basket you can get a t-shirt and a flag and you can also take a university aptitude test which basically lets you know if you can go to university and what scholarships you can get and which degree will be best for you which is a good implementation of the game I really like the aptitude test and then if you decide that you want to go you can apply through the phone 
I think it's through the phone and the computer, you can pick how many credits you want to do. And how many credits you do influences how long you are at university. And I always pick the most credits because my attention span is suffering. She poorly, she not well. So I could never cope with how long it would take to finish university on like the least amount of credits. And I thank you. I always pick the most amount of credits and quit university halfway through. <sighs> And then from this, you'll then move to the university town, which is similar to The Sims 2. It's basically a separate entity. You don't get any communication with your family back home, I'm pretty sure. Unlike The Sims 2, there's only one university. Yes, that's right, one, one university. It's beautiful, mind you, like don't get me wrong, but there's only one. And then you can apply for a major, but there's only six. Not much to say about that, but eh? Anyway, the majors that you can do are communications, business, science and medicine, technology, physical education and fine arts and you also get like a study object based on your degree. So for example, for art you might get a sketchbook and for communications you'll get a radio. And then you can either move into a dorm or into university housing which is again similar to The Sims 2, it's just basically a house. But the dorms are much bigger, much more tory. The rooms are just massive. I mean what kind of university experience is this trying to replicate? Because last year was hell I've not seen a university experience like that one hens. God bless their student life. On. And there's also so many new lot types within this game. Like I will give the Sims that there is dormitory, fraternity, sorority, apartment, university, hangout, student union, Java hut, nerd shop, rebel hangout, arcade. And a lot of these are influenced with the new social standing types, like I said earlier. But there's a lot of activities to do as well. But even if you're not interested in the social groups, the activities that you can do still really make your gameplay rich outside of the context of university. Like you can have a little nerdy sim at home, nice to play video games all day. Me, me, literally me. But you can have that kind of thing. It doesn't just have to be in university. Then once you actually start university, it's basically just displayed the same way as it is in The Sims 2, so I'm not gonna go into it too much. But there is one big change about university. <laughs> There's active classes. This means you can participate in a lecture, which sounds cool on paper, but in my personal opinion, this just does not work in practice. People say that about communism all the time. In my personal opinion, active classes are really boring, they're really repetitive. I'd much rather just click on the UI and click work hard, you know, take notes. And you can also work outside on your designated project that you get given with your degree. There is also a notice board at the university where you can work day jobs, do social group jobs, do a dare and stuff, and these give you either money or social increase. They also included plans sims with this pack and I'm not being funny but like why? I'm not going to complain about new content but here I am complaining about new content. Like why? I just don't get it. It's basically a new life state that came with the game and you can turn into a plant sim if you eat forbidden fruit or if you do a science experiment at the university. They basically just need to drink water and they have a special relationship with plants. Like same here hen, I'm vegan but I just don't get why they're in this. One thing I'm seeing with this as well is my whole description of this pack is kind of all over the place because the pack itself is kind of all over the place. I'm not putting that one on me, that's a year's fault. I find this true with a lot of the Sims 3 packs. Like there's a lot of things there and there's a lot of things added. Like we've got social groups, we've got arcades, we've got coffee shops, we've got dorms, we've got sororities, we've got fraternities, we've got plant sims, we've got mobile phones. There's so much there, but it's also kind of so spread out that there's not one main thing. And I'm not hating on the Sims 3. I'm really not, so don't take this as hate on the Sims 3 because if someone said to me, you can only play one game for the rest of your life, it'd be the Sims 3 and all the packs. But I do find that a common criticism of mine. Don't know if anyone else feels the same way. But the fact that the packs are really spread thin and there's so much but there's not an, enough depth in each of them is kind of a common criticism I have for The Sims 3. So moving on from Criticism Corner. Once you take your final exams, you receive your diploma through the mail and then you can go attend your graduation, which is basically just in a rabbit hole. Then once you've done this, you get your extra trait, you head home, you've got an advantage in your new job. The Sims 3 University is a lot and also not much at the same time. Don't hate me. I'm just saying my opinion. So now we move on to The Sims 4 University, which is the newest pack to be released for The Sims 4. I have done a video on whether or not you should buy this one and I talk about things a lot more in depth on there so go check that one out if you want to. And I also do just want to say that there is going to be some things missing or some things that I only mentioned slightly because I didn't get that much, well we did get quite a lot of time, we got eight hours which is the most amount of capture time we've had I think but it's also nowhere near enough to explore every single thing in this pack so some things my knowledge might not be 100% on, I'm just going to let you know now, don't attack me in the comments okay? No one ever does but like just don't even if you're thinking about it. So again focusing on the jobs first. You do get new jobs with this pack which is education, law and engineering. You don't get any new traits and you get one new aspiration which relates to university. In my opinion, big fab 
boring. Why is there no new trades? Why is there only one new aspiration? Why are the Sims team not listening when we say that we just want new traits and aspirations? Like, why is this not a thing? Why is this not being implemented? I mean, the other things are great, but we really need more traits. But anyway, you first get to interact with university through the computer. You can apply for scholarships, research both of the universities, and then apply for university. But the university differs a lot from the Sims 3 because there's actually two universities, I'm sure you all know. There's Fox Street and Brightchester. They offer the same courses, but some courses are more distinguished at each university. And the courses that are available at Art History, I'm gonna to have to read this off the screen because there's so much, I just, I, I can't remember it. Art History, Culinary Arts, Drama, Fine Art, History, Language and Literature, Communications, Biology, Computer Science, Economics, Physics, Psychology and Villainy. Bloody hell, I need my Ventolin after that, that's a lot. So once you've chosen your course, you can then choose four classes. So you can either have these as core classes, you do need a minimum of one core class, and then up to three electives. And there's a lot of electives to choose from. The classes are a lot, which is a new and refreshing thing to be added into the game. You can also also take out a student loan to cover this which I absolutely love. I just love boring mundane real life things like debt. So then you move to Brightchester which is the University of Weldon itself. Do I think it should have been called Brightchester? Nah. Because <laughs> there's literally a Brightchester Uni and a Foxborough Uni like we all know who he is. Favourite is. I find it very confusing. And what's also cool about this though is you can live in Brightchester without being a university student. This is the first time that a University world has been included as a livable residential world. And this also means that you can live at home while studying at uni or you can just go home and visit your family. Like over Christmas break you could go and visit. Oh sold. But as a college student in this world you can either live in normal housing, university housing or dorm. So it's very similar to how it's already been apart from the whole residential lots. There's no sororities or fraternities but you can kind of make these with the Sims 4 get together if you have that. Not everybody has that pack though so I appreciate that. Andrew and Liz Pleasant from The Sims 2 also make a return. I do already have a video on these, the entire history of the Pleasant family. So I'll leave that in the description if you want to go check that out. And I was very 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 excited for this. I still kind of am but I think that's because my expectations with Laura in The Sims 4 are so low. I don't don't know. I like that they're both there. I like they're being brought back. The traits do actually reflect them as people very well. It's very similar to The Sims 2. And I like how they've carried the storyline on with them going to different universities. So that's great. But I do still have an issue with the family trees in The Sims 4 because it says that they've got an ancestor. But Henny, do they really? Because it's just a greyed out picture. You can't see anybody. And I just think it's not that hard to kill Sims. I've killed every single Sim in The Sims 4. It took me about an hour. It's not that hard to make a fake family tree. And I think just adding something little like that would make a big Different. So that's my that's my two pence to a year. Hope you see this. And the dorms are similar to those in The Sims 2 and The Sims 3. You have a bedroom. There's a new addition to the game, which is a roommate. Very cool. And you also might share a room with someone. But they don't allow kitchens. Only well, microwave and a mini fridge. Like, I would big fat die. I just want to end this oven heat. But if you're hungry, you can visit the cafeteria in the comments. I did say in my video that it doesn't have a cafeteria. I'm very sorry. It does have a cafeteria. It's in the comments. I would have just liked to have seen a cafeteria building on its own. But maybe I'm asking for too much. Who knows? Then you actually start university, which, as I said earlier, I don't actually know that much about university. I know it's very good. I know there's a lot of things to do. I only got to play through a couple of days of university. University. Like I got the basics, but there's still a lot I haven't discovered with this pack. I do know that there's no active classes. Go off on the comments about that if you just want to, but I'm honestly okay with that. But I know that you can work on assignments, you've got finals, and there's a lot to do outside of it, like debate clubs, spirit week, there's so much stuff, and you can make new things as well. Again, if you've got to get together, or even if you've got seasons, you can have a day on the calendar, which is like anti-spirit week if you want to be a little bit of a rebel, you know. And the secret society is back. Again, I'm really disappointed to say that I can't say much on this because I never got the opportunity to play with. Them. I do know there's a secret society. I know they do a lot of weird hand movements. I know that they've got Sprite. So I definitely know Eliandra, Jovan, the Sims community, and Molly, the English Sim. I know that they've explored it. So go check their channels out if you want to find out more about that. And then you graduate, which is basically nothing. There's no party or anything. Bit disappointing, I'm not gonna lie. But overall, I do think that the Sims 4 University is the best done university pack. With the Sims 2 as a close second. I think if the Sims 2 was made in a time like now, the Sims 2 would blow it out the water, but it's not. And that's the reality. So Oh, that's basically everything I have for you today. That's the entire history of university in The Sims. Let me know what you think, whether it's a pack that you really enjoy. University is honestly quite far down in my list. It's not necessarily a pack that I'd be like, oh my God, I need this. Sims 4 University has impressed me. I'm impressed with all the packs. It's just not really my type of gameplay. I don't know, it might be now. You never quite know. Now that I'm out of university, I might enjoy it. Please subscribe if I'm not already. I do have a big playlist of all the entire history of where I cover families, sexuality, death, everything. So go check that out if you want to. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, guys.